Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Welcome back everybody. How are you? How are you? Hello everyone in the chat. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Just click that link and um, yeah, that'll take you right to my booking site. And um, that link will take you actually everywhere in outer space that I may be. <laughs> so definitely check that out. All right. So this is a Virgo channel only. Wow, look, King of Wands is showing up. Gee, that you saw that flipped right out. Virgos only, Virgo, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And um, as usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits um, and leave the rest. All right, King of Wands, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, the Moon, Three of Swords at the center, the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and Strength. Whoa, I forgot to look at the bottom of the deck. Okay, some kind of wish coming true here for you, Virgo. Happy, happy, joy, joy, freedom, indulging, feeling at peace, um, overcoming some stress and anxiety here, maybe an abusive relationship you're out of or getting out of or getting away from controlling type of people um, things are balancing out and you're also leaving somebody out left out in the cold blocking here you're holding on tight you're not making any decisions you're i feel like that's what your good news is virgo you're you well know, kind of in this thing where some of you not all of you kind of in this thing here i feel like this reading is going towards people who are struggling in some type of um, relationship that with this five of swords might have been somebody was just dictating your life or dictating the relationship or um, you know that that five of swords can be very unmanageable um, somebody was shutting you out okay perhaps in the past okay wow Spirit just said to me, tell Virgo, this, this is all new. This is possibly somebody new here? Okay. Um, you're no longer holding on in, into a past energy. You're no longer holding on to anyone that was leaving you out in the cold or that you may have felt abandoned by. You're out. You're done. You're blocking. You're, you're like, look at... <laughs> You get the two of swords here. Look at her. Dukes are up. You're like, okay, you know what? I'm doing what's right, and I'm doing what's right for me. So we've got Libra, Sagittarius. Um, I will say there is Aries, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, okay? For, for those of you who are on a need-to-know basis, okay? But let's take a look and see what your love messages are here. What's going on? I'm just, I just have this really strong vibe of somebody new. And I feel like it's because, was it yesterday or the day before, or the king of fire showed up? This is, if you were dealing with someone who was um, a fire sign last time or Mars energy, this is not that person. This feels like, this feels like a, a new, a new energy. All right, let's take a look here. Um, so it could be a water sign showing up or a fire sign, new. You know, usually I don't, usually I do singles or new later, but I just had this overwhelming sense because of what's going on here. Keep an open mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You're attracting somebody in here. And finances and career, you might be meeting this. Per oh, you've got engagement. You might be all right. You're, you might be meeting this person through your work or your job. Maybe you meet them at a career fair, or um, I don't even know if they had those because of COVID, or you know, at a bank or a financial institution. Maybe they're going to help give you a loan. This feels like a very strong, like a new, a new energy. Let me see. You know what? Hmm. I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to pull from the Moonology deck because I have retired those other cards. 
and I just want to get a couple of oh okay you and your loved ones are safe okay so if anybody here has been a little concerned or worried about a past person who might be coming after you I don't know I just kind of you know that feels like a tough energy if you're if you have a concern about that I feel like you're safe um, your situation this is moon and cancer so if you have a moon and cancer specifically for you but I feel like there's something going on here um, even if you don't have that situation going on like wherever you are right now you you're safe you're okay if you're feeling paranoid or scared about something or just kind of I don't know it's strange it, that's the message. That's the message. I don't know who that's going to be for, but I feel like Spirit wanted you to know that right away. All right, let's see. Do they have anything else for us? For my Virgo Spirit, what other messages? I'm going to try and flip this around. All right. Take time to breathe out, Virgo. That is the disseminating moon. That's a release. That's letting go. Uh, if you're letting go of someone, breathe them out. With every exhale that you have, visualize, your, visualize yourself breathing that person out and then bring love back into your situation. Inhale, love. Breathe, exhale, toxicity, which is actually what the body does. Um, visualize the toxicity that you're exhaling and then inhale, love. Inhale, this is a uh, moon in Aquarius, so specifically for you, but this is inhaling all the good stuff, okay? Um, for some of you, that might be a little Mary Jane, whichever, although I don't really feel like that's a non-toxic kind of thing, but that's just me. Let me see here. All right, keep an open mind. You're so, so somebody's coming in here where you are both very different, fire and water. There's fire and water energy, okay? You're showing up in one of those elements, but fire and water, hold on a minute. Yesterday's reading was the sun and the moon. So maybe for some of you, yesterday's reading was somebody new. But this is definitely both of you facing your fears, okay? You're, you, you guys, though, I, I see here that your backs are turned to each other. So you may not have met this person yet, or you may be in this person's energy and you're just not facing each other, you're not seeing each other. Um, so one person is sitting here looking down at the ground, contemplating and thinking, and another person is sitting here looking into their reflection, reflecting on their emotions and how they feel, male or female energy. but. I feel like you and this person are synchronized. I feel like you're both um, taking a look at the things that have been holding you back in your lives. Um, maybe preferences were too, like you, you were too limited in what you were looking for. Um, and you're both in this position here where you're, I just saw two people sitting on a, in a row of chairs, okay, a row of chairs, but back to back, like in an airport, or at some kind of a station. And what you might you guys might actually turn around and see each other. Maybe this has already happened. But it feels like kind of thinking about what you're looking for in your life now versus what you've had in the past. You were in something perhaps in the past that was um yeah, you know, it's just not fulfilling or somebody was just dictating and telling you what to do or how to behave or you know you were really right now you're trying to find your peace of mind and you're in this position to try to find your happiness okay so you're going to meet this person while you're traveling okay some of you might already be traveling if you are while you're out i mean i could just see all of you go and hang around at the airport, go ahead, do what you gotta do. But I definitely feel like there's, you're gonna be connecting with this person while traveling. You could just be out on the road, you could just be, maybe some of you have jobs as drivers, okay? Um, you could pick this person up in the vehicle, maybe there's like a delivery driver um, or a bus driver. 
This person also, you, one of you might be going into each other's town. You might be at a distance to each other. Okay. Um, but this is definitely movement. Like you're, there's movement, on, being on the move. All right, let's take a look at this King of Wands here. Okay. So we have the moon here. Yeah, the King of Wands is really deeply reflecting. Now that could be you, it could be the other person, but all, you're both doing the same thing really deeply reflecting on um okay somebody's deeply reflecting on all the lies and deception that they've had in the past and really taking a look at that okay um could be you could be that person the other you know this new person okay and the queen of cups has a two of wands like at a stalemate you you both you're going to meet this person and find out that <clears throat> it doesn't matter really what sign this person is um although i will stay, say specifically it is either a fire sign or a water sign you two are um both coming out of something that was very difficult um one of you is doing some shadow work or has just or is in the process of completing some shadow work one of you is taking a look at your drinking habits or past um, addictions okay that may have had an effect on a past relationship or something happened that maybe led you to drink and drug right one of you might be in recovery at this time from overindulging now for some that's alcohol but overindulging and this is a card of healing and recovery so somebody you could be or you were connected with someone who was in um you might have been connected with someone that um passed away from drug or uh must have had an overdose of some sort okay and now you're trying to move on with your life and try to find somebody who's kind of like understands that would understand that energy some of you were involved with someone in the past who was extremely possessive abandoned you left you out in the cold drained your finances um caused you a lot of grief and anxiety and sleepless nights and nightmares or the whole connection felt like a nightmare you know and just as you would try to start coming into balance, maybe stay in the relationship or you start coming into balance or getting some peace and harmony, this person would come in and destroy it, disrupt it. So a lot of you are just in this place now where you're reflecting on the past, but you're going to meet somebody who has gone through the same thing, reflecting on almost, you know, almost linear, almost similar situation here. Uh, some of you might be sitting here waiting for answers to come to you, hoping that if you just, you know, look in your cup there and, and see your reflection, like maybe something will appear, you know, almost like looking into a crystal ball. Okay. So I was clarifying the moon. There is somebody here who's looking at past, um, taking a look at their um, frivolousness in relationships, um, serial dating, sexual encounters, um, not really being serious, just hooking up with anyone all the time, okay? Somebody here, if it resonates for you, you can say it to yourself. If not, it, it could be the, um, just somebody you're gonna be meeting. There's like a real energy here of um, opening up the mind, okay? And there's definitely a shift. I feel like you are moving away from some type of either past relationship. You're moving away from it physically or you're, some of you have gone into hiding. You're going into hiding. So you can't be found. I don't know who the hell you were dealing with, but that energy, these cards in the past, real shit. You were divinely guided though, the whole time. You were protected. And that's why I feel... Maybe that's what this is here. You and your loved ones are safe from somebody right now. You're trying to like breathe that person out and bring new love into your life. So yeah, this is the way this reading is going, okay? Now, to what depth? I mean, if you 
fear for your life at this time. I mean, all I can really tell you is you have to engage the authorities. Um, tarot reading probably um, isn't the first go-to thing that you should go to, but you know, I'm here to give the messages. So if it helps you get from step A to step B, great. Let's take a look at this Six of Swords. Yep, what I say? Manifesting your blessings in a new beginning here. Love's coming to you. Healing, definitely. Whatever you've been in, whatever you have been in, in the past, good for you to be able to get out of this. Good for you that you're finding a way to let go of this because I really feel some of you were probably still in the process of Mm, hoping that person would change sometimes you may have received a reading from me where the energy played out that way okay but if this is resonating for you this this is not a reading of hope <laughs> this is a reading of truth and facts here all right so let's take a look at this moon the center of the reading you need to know the three of swords is here okay so this is heartbreak station Okay, you're right now listening to this reading and you have some kind of a heartbreak. You've got a heartbreak. Maybe there was an argument. It might still be on your mind from somebody in the past. Um, you're going through some major changes in your life at this time. You're attracting new love for sure. Okay, so they gave you the five of swords in the reverse, which is good. This is like... Um, Oh, okay, they just told me some of you are in hiding, so this person does not have control over you or tries to have a sense of control. Like, like you may not be fully hiding, but you're not revealing everything right now. You're, you're going a little ghost, okay? Because, you know, when do we see ghosts? At, at night, in the reflection of the moon, right? Um, and just a tiny little bit of light. The five of swords in the reverse, like all these swords, see how they're heavy in the handles here? These swords are dropping out. So some of you are just kind of like going ghost so that there won't be any more control. Um, some of you are doing this to avoid an argument or a heartbreak or some type of, um, you don't want to see something. Um, you know, this you're walking through the the valley of the shadow of death here. That's what this is. Some of you are going to New York. You're going to um, see the footprints from the Twin Towers, for sure. There might be a trip or something. You're going to New York City or getting away for a little while. Um, the Oh, interesting. I never saw this before. Um, those footprints, they're called the um, reflecting pools. Okay, and the moon does reflect. And I was seeing there was reflection going on here. Uh, maybe you're connected to somebody who was connected to that. And that was so long ago, I understand. Um, but maybe for some of you, maybe that's what it felt like. The, a, a past relationship felt like it could have been like maybe 9-11 wasn't as bad as what you went through you might feel that way you know uh, it maybe it was just extremely destructive your spirit destructive destruct destroyed from a past thing here but you know what um okay let's tell me about this three of swords you're moving away from okay <laughs> you're not reconciling anymore because you're looking back here look you've got the six of cups in the reverse so this three of swords tells me the only thing you really when you're feeling stuck in the past the only memories you're choosing to look at is how this person hurt you or broke your heart okay six of cups is in the reverse this is not wanting to reconcile this might just still be um that you still have a broken heart from you're still trying to get over this you you still I mean, this isn't even really a broken heart. I mean, I don't see hearts broken here. I see the heart stabbed. You know, this is a type of situation where you just, somebody just kept stabbing you in the heart over and over, you know, and, and, and those swords are not fully out there, out yet. They're trying to be. But they're not fully, I can't, my, these cards, they're not fully 
They're not pulled out just yet. When this is in the reverse, this will take you back. This will mean healing. And again, the heaviness of those handles and those swords will just slip right out. You're not quite there, but look, you have the um, Wheel of Fortune, so you're on your way. Luck is coming to you definitely in the month of October. I feel like you're going to be meeting somebody in October. Somebody's coming in. You'll meet this person and then there'll be this feeling like you'll know. They'll treat you so much better. Like this person, you'll know, like you'll feel, you'll meet them and then you'll spend time with them and you'll talk to them and you'll go out on dates and, and you'll feel the ascension of the relationship. You'll feel it. Whereas where you try to ascend in something in the past and you kept getting shot down, or you were trying to progress a relationship in the past or have something go forward. Um, but there was so, so much sword energy feels like a lot of abuse, a lot of, um, verbal abuse. I, I don't see physical abuse. It doesn't mean that, um, it's, it, it didn't happen, but I don't have wands here. Um, there might've been a little bit of physical abuse where someone, physically blocked you or was physically possessive um they may have physically caused financial damages but i don't see physical in the sense of like hitting that doesn't mean it's not your story uh this is just what they're giving me here it feels more like verbal um this person it feels like in the past made you feel like they were at peace with you and that you were a wish come true for them and and they could just indulge you all day and that they were praying for you but then they were at the same time causing you anxiety and there was like um cognitive dissonance going on in your mind and you were confused well wait one minute they're like this a lot of gaslighting okay so oh look oh my god look what just popped out just what I said, you're healing, Virgo. The Three of Swords in the reverse. Awesome. And you're letting go of the past. This is so amazing. So this person, I feel you're going to meet either a water sign or a fire sign. It just feels like a new energy. And you'll feel the ascension of the relationship. This person will want to get to know you more. They will be attracted to you. They will enjoy spending time with you, like really fully. There's a difference here between the two of you, though. Okay? Um, even though... I felt like you were both kind of going through this reflection period in your lives separately, not even knowing one another. You come together and talk. I feel like there will be a communication. Um, you guys will talk about the healing and the change and how you, uh, some of you rolled on out of there <laughs> so you could get some healing and get happy and, and be in a better place in your life. But there may be, there's, it doesn't necessarily mean engagement in the sense where like you're going to meet this person and they're going to give you a ring right away because that's creepy um, or that you as a male are going to do that with someone. Don't, that's creepy. But it's definitely like going in that direction. But I feel like you're in communication with each other and it will be highly engaging where it, you'll, there will be like an instant attraction to one another. Okay. Um, it just feels like uh, two people just went through a, a shit storm and meet each other and don't expect to meet each other and see that you both see that you're so different from each other or you see that there's okay some of you are expecting to get involved with the same type of person again and this person comes in this new person and they're nothing like your past person they treat you well they're respectful towards you they're calm you can communicate and talk about things with each other now i know there's some of you who are not trying to have somebody new you're waiting for your past person to come in um i would never tell you to go forward with someone new or go back to the past i think that's really going to be up to you you got to just try to sometimes if you've been in a flurry of unhealthy relationships and then you meet someone 
who's healthy, sometimes I might even recommend going on dates with a healthy person or several people so you can kind of get like an overall idea uh, of you can contrast and compare things, right? Like when you're shopping for apples, you look at like all the different apples, you know, and figure out which one you like best. If you're in one relationship with someone and they've been like this all the time and dictating and being abusive and then, I mean, there's there's always trauma, childhood trauma. Those issues, listen, I'm, I'm just going to put this out here. If you've been in any kind of abuse, abusive relationship, whether it was in your childhood or in a long-term marriage, and you have not gotten into some kind of counseling or healing or spiritual group or connections or support groups, uh, psychologist, licensed therapist, anything, any of those modalities, okay? If you have not done that yet, I would encourage you to do that before you start dating again. Because listen, some of you have dated people who have not gotten healthy and they just brought all their baggage and crap into your relationship and piled it down on top of you and blamed you for everything. This is why it's so important. Don't worry about other people. Worry about you and what you need to do for yourself here, Virgo. Take, listen, you don't got to be in therapy for the rest of your life. Take a good solid, start with a good solid six months and do the work. Do the work. Get that stuff out. Get it out. The things that you've kept a lid on. Talk about it. Write it down. Get it out. Release it. Because I really feel like there's an opportunity here for something really healthy and i really want you to take a look at that and and be able to like discern um happiness and joy and someone who truly supports you and loves you no matter what and doesn't try to sabotage you or the relationship or you know some of you just really want someone to talk to someone that you can engage with and just like feel that energy like trust and safety safety big time safety is huge a lot of us we forego safety for love you were in an unsafe relationship in the past here safety is everything i don't care how much i don't care how much you love someone you can love them until you're blue in the face if you don't feel safe around them you got to get, you got to go run for cover and take cover. You know, I just had this image, like I love chocolate cake, but I'm not going to sit in the middle of like a California wildfire and eat it. I'm going to go find a safe place to have my cake and eat it too. Cause that's what I like to do. So this is definitely somebody new coming in here. Somebody different. This is like universe scent. You may have been manifesting somebody new into your life but as well as healing some of you i'm just gonna say this for some of you this could be a this could be a healer somebody not a romantic partner just could be a healer because we did have the ace of cups here so some of you could be actually on that path some of you don't need to be in rela a relationship right now some of you need to be getting your healing in and working on that, you know, trauma bonding and childhood and, you know, that 20 year marriage you were in that was like <laughs> shitville. You were living in shitville, USA. You know, I'm sweating. Oh my gosh, hold on. Yeah, so that's kind of what I feel like is going on in on here. Um, so, you know, it, it could be, you could be meeting somebody romantically as well, maybe in a support group that you're attending, or if you're involved in some kind of healing modality of some sort, it could be Reiki, it could be psychiatry, I don't know, anywhere, it could be in the waiting room. Remember I told you I saw a bunch of chairs? I saw two people kind of sitting back to back, not noticing each other in chairs, and both there for the same reason. So keep your eye out. I mean, if you're going to go to the airport, go to the airport. But it could just be right down the street in your doctor's office. Okay, let's see. So get the five of wands here. All right, show me what's going on. There's a, a little bit of some challenges here. Not major. 
five the five of wands is not major challenges this is kind of like um a little bickering um this is oh yeah okay so the hermit showed up here in reverse wow interesting that my cards are all mixed up okay whatever we're taking it um the hermit's here in reverse it's a real challenge for you some of you just want to sink deep into isolation and not be found at all and for those of you who are in that position you might be doing it for safety concerns but make sure that you have at least one or two people that you're staying in contact with if you need to go into some deep isolation from something um, for others this is really just a challenge for you to open up okay you've got some deeply buried things um, it's not crazy challenging it's just there's some things that you really just don't want to share with someone personal details so whether that's like you're sitting in your doctor's office you got to tell him, him or her something or um, a clinical you know doctor or anybody something that you have to share that you've kept deeply buried um, you know you got to do it you know it has to come out it could be with this person there might be an element of some shame you might skim the surface and just say yeah it was this but it might actually be a lot deeper than that in the way that it made you feel some of you were absolutely humiliated or just completely put to shame by another person or other people and you some of you are still carrying that shame around and ma it makes you want to hide okay some things were said to you right this reading is getting very psychological but i feel like you're going to get an opportunity here with the ace of pentacles um for strength okay you're going to be able to take care of this i know you've got some things that you got to talk about um or there may be some things that you're going to have to share or fess up to another person or a new person you know like a romantic partner take your time with it um, the universe is blessing you in this okay nobody's going to force you to talk but if you feel like you want to communicate with someone you're going to have somebody there um, soothing you through it <laughs> some of you finances and career here lost your job because of another person or your finances you went absolutely broke and you have to start all over again some of you had to forego your careers because you were this was your boss who was doing things to you or it was your spouse or your significant other okay so some of you are um have a lot of uh shame about that a lot of you went to school and you trained and you worked at your career for a really long time and somebody you know you had to leave it because of something that you were in all right let me see what this so i do feel like for for those of you who are in that situation there's definitely a job opportunity coming here you're going to get back up on track there's going to be money coming in here your career you'll be able to start over if you have to or you'll get a raise at the job that you're at if you have to uh, keep, keep hush hush about any challenges that you can't leave your position or your career um, some of you are healing from a divorce or a breakup and there were people at your 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 job that knew about stuff that was going on and that might have been shameful or humiliating um, what another person put you through okay but you had to stay there anyway all right let's take a look show me this ace of pentacles okay oh yeah boom tower total breakdown well i just heard a strange message some of you had someone tried to set your home on fire or tried to set your work or your place of employment or destroy something some of them um did it for the money to get that payout gosh if anybody's resonating with this reading i am so sorry that you went through that because i know there i mean there's like everyday life experiences and then there's shit like this but look remember i was talking about 9 11 this card the tower card sometimes can remind me of that 
And I was saying that um, that breakdown situation, that thing that you went through, look, there's going to be a huge payout. You're going to get, they just said build back, be build back better. Um, you, you know, don't ask me about politics because I don't go either way. But I just heard that they just gave me the phrase there. Some of you are going to get recompense recompense for everything that fell apart, everything that broke down, that was shattered, your dreams, your hopes, your home, your family, um, this relationship. You, you will be rewarded. You will be rewarded for all of your hard work that you've been putting in. Just the fact that you had faith, or you're having faith, and pulled yourself out of a disruptive situation, or a very bad, it could have been family. It could have been toxic family, not a spouse or a lover. It could have been family members, or a group of friends, or people in your employment, whatever it was. I just see here you getting away from it and actually the minute you and this is just how it works the minute you close that door it's not a lie you guys you have to just be willing to lose something you have to be willing to close that door on bullshit you have to just shut the freaking door on it the soon as soon as you do that I'm telling you, I'm living proof of this. As soon as you shut the door on bullshit, a whole new world opens up. A whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. I'm telling you, let that song inspire you. That's a beautiful song. A whole new world opens up in front of you. New opportunities. A soulmate comes in. You don't want that twin flame junk. <laughs> <laughs> that separation, that difficult, that not the twin flame relationships are abusive. I don't feel like they intentionally are, but they can feel that way. Some of you were just involved with a karmic, you know, and you can't figure out which is which. It doesn't matter. When you're with a soulmate, you know, because you feel at peace, you feel safe, you can relax. And that's what you're looking for. Just a nice, relaxing, let's sit on the couch, Netflix and chill, and let's go to bed. Or let's go traveling, you know. Let's, we're not doing van life shit over here, but we're, you know, we're going to go out there and just live our lives. Let's spend time with family and friends and go camping or go to the movies, stay in five-star hotels, you know. Just live our lives and be happy. Show me this. Okay. I forgot to say. Oh, well. All right. So, yeah, here's. Four of Pentacles, long-term security. So this person in the past, or whomever they were, were trying to hold on, not let you go, not let you go, keep you locked under lock and key, your spirit, or physically, in your life. And here you are now. What are you possessive over? Your strength and your confidence. Okay? Um, you guys are going to take a little while to speak. You're going to take a little while to speak. You might... For some of you, if you have something that you need to say or that you have to vent, if there's somebody new coming in, you're not expected to just, and don't, meet somebody new and blurt out all of your past bullshit. That means that if you got a lot of that going on, you find yourself um, just going on and on and on and on about this past stuff. That means you haven't healed from it and you need to find another source to help you with that not a new relationship because that's just going to be a clear indicator that you're not ready um, and that person is going to look at you and you would do the same and just say well you know maybe you need to get some a little extra help or something with that um, because there's nothing worse than meeting someone and have them tell you Long, go on and on the entire time about their ex and how awful they are because then you look at them and you're like okay well you obviously need to get past this don't be knocking on my door too you got your shit together so I feel like some of you is going to take a little while and that's fine um, you can still go on casual dates and have fun but make sure you've got a secondary make sure you've got someone else 
to that you're paying like someone clinical that's actually going to help you with your healing not someone that you go to that you're just going to vent and talk about your ex the whole time it's not to talk about the ex it's to say this is what happened with the ex this is how i reacted to that where i lost my control why i allowed this to happen and what can i do to fix this because the counseling is about you the getting the help is about you it's not to go on and on and on about your ex because or whoever was doing whatever to you because then you're keeping that shit alive moving on is not just physically it's energetically as well it's it's opening arms wide open oh there's that song right creed with arms i'm not saying it i can't remember with arms wide open arms wide open i don't remember the arms wide with arms wide o- arms wide open <laughs> i want to sing like that guy no God, I am dating myself with these songs, but listen, it's not me. I have like this, I have this like little singing Buddha spirit or something and just sits here and just plays the songs for me like a little rock star angel or something. All right. What do we want to do here? We're going to take a look at your, your love messages here. I know you guys, they're not giving me too much on this new person that you're going to meet. Let's leave some things a mystery and a surprise. I've given you enough to let you know where you may catch up with this person, but it seems like a lot of you have some healing that you got to get in here. And I know somebody like I've been in I've been in therapy for 10 years and I listen, I have an opinion about that, right? If you've been in therapy for 10 years over a past relationship or an ex or something, um, then you got to get yourself a new therapist because you don't need to be in therapy that long okay unless you're going to school to be a freaking counselor you a, a psychiatrist and all that time you could have got your degree doing that so get yourself someone who's going to hear what you have to say they're going to assess what happened in the past they're going to help you through uh, to change your behaviors to change things the point of therapy is to change and to put things into action put plans into action it's not to just talk about the same this just talk about it forever and ever and ever and ever and for those of you i mean i'm sure there's some of you who've been in counseling for a very long time because there were other things going on and i'm not knocking you for that at all i'm not judging i just think it's really important to make sure that you're with someone who's say who's saying giving you homework Make sure you're with a counselor or someone who's giving you homework and steps and, is ch- and you know, like an accountability person and saying, hey, how did you get through that thing last week that we talked about? Did you, did you apply these steps? Did you do this in this, you know, with whatever? And you come back, yeah, I did. And I actually had like a, had a different, I didn't react to this. I didn't react to this situation. It's amazing. I didn't let this person, I didn't give my power away. I didn't get, let my thoughts take, uh, hijack my brain. You know, I, I read, I did all these different tricks. It's all about the tricks, y'all. Tricks are for kids. Thank God that doesn't have a song. All right, let's take a look. I'm shuffling and shuffling. What are Virgo's messages here? I'm really excited for you who you're going to meet here because this feels so good. Awakening. Hello. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. You both are. You and this new person. I feel like this person in the past is um, a tool. And you need to leave tools in their toolbox. Shut the lid. Yeah, look temperance in reverse they're very unstable this person's very unstable you need to know this and not safe they're out of harmony they're out of sync with you they always were but unstable emotionally imbalanced very temperamental as well so there might have been like some anger or you know stuff like that going on let's see Sagittarius in reverse that's 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 Ted Bundy right there not legit mastery you've learned the spiritual lesson look at this the progress first you have awakening and then you master it you're, some of you are becoming like spiritual black belts like times five this is amazing 
All right, what else? Something about this new person. Talk to me. My ninja rock star angels, talk to me. This new energy. <gasps> this person will be secretly longing for you. After you guys get together, oh yeah, it's very nice. Uh, they're not going to say it right away. They're going to hold back, keep themselves at bay. Healing. I love it. Look at this. Old childhood wounds and issues do need revisiting. So that's a very strong message for some of you. You know who I'm talking to. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Get Do the work. Do the work. Go get your workbooks. I don't care. Do the work. Don't be afraid of the healing work. Let's see. Tell me more about this person. Virgo's new love. Virgo's other other half. Balance. Okay. Hmm. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Oh, no, this is good. This is good. Just take it slow, Virgo, when you meet this person. There might be some codependency here on your side after what you've been through. Some of you might be trying to heal that in the sense where you're becoming independent, emotionally independent. You're not relying on another person uh, to fulfill all your needs like 100%. You're not coming in like fully voided and a, like, I don't want to say mirroring somebody else, but hijacking their behavior and making it your own. Be very careful of that energy. We, we, we want to come into relationships filled, not voided, right? And I always feel like people with deep codependency issues, they lack a sense of self and they try to hijack other people. Narcissists are codependent, extremely codependent. And you might, you might feel really fearful of them. Um, some of them, depending where they're on the spectrum, can be quite dangerous. But for the most part, um, I mean, they do lose their marbles if you take their personality away because then they're left with nothing. They got to go. That's why they always have other sources. They got to go and hijack somebody else's identity so they feel like they're somebody, right? Um, so be very careful. Go very slow. I'm not seeing a warning here for you with somebody new. I'm just saying make sure that you are balanced, you know? you are objective you're able to have an objective you're able to operate out of your your logical thinking rather than your emotional thinking when making decisions finances okay financial challenges are affecting this connection all right this you do have some financial stuff going on but i did say that you're going to get there's going to be changes i also feel like this person does as well when you meet them i feel like listen you guys are like it feels like very similar energy. This person might have been in a very abusive relationship. They might have been with someone in the past who was lying and cheating. This new person I'm talking about might have had that going on as well. Somebody was being deceptive. They were out messing around with other people and lying. And that really hurt that person. Okay. And you, Fergie, you've always just, some of you, you know, that could be your person. Um, this could be you also as well, looking and, and seeing, you know, you got to heal from that, okay? For others, it could also be an energy of you just always kind of being at a crossroads and really not being able to fully decide, you know, always having to make a choice between your head and your heart. And, you know, I, I, my thing, what I, what I feel here with that message I'm getting is like, you don't have to... So yeah, your logical thinking, actually, when you have someone that you've just met, like you have, they both have to work in tandem. You gotta bridge that gap. People are like, well, should I follow my heart or should I follow my head? You should follow them both. Why do you have to choose? Who told you you had to do one or the other? Who told you that you had to well, just forget the heart and follow your head? Or who told you just all heart? but no brain. Who told you that? No, they're in your body. They work in tandem, the brain and the heart and the lungs. They're all like one thing, but you got to breathe. That's the central theme when you're making decisions. Bring air into your lungs and to oxygenate your brain and your heart so that it's pumping at its fullest and your brain is active and you're they're working together and they're talking to each other and they're 
they're coming together and they're saying and they're making a compromise and, they're, and the heart's like no i want this i want this and the brain's like but you don't need it you don't need it get talk to get them to talk to each other <laughs> oh look yeah you have okay so a lot of you are kind of like you're not making major steps because you do you do have um you've been through a lot what you went through with someone in the past was complete and utter satanistic hell you've been through a lot you do you are kind of just standing at the crossroads you're not taking any steps forward just yet because you do have kind of a thing like oh my god what if this happens again or what if i meet another karmic or what if i'm not strong enough and like you're reflecting and you're looking in the you're you know you're scrying you're looking in the water pool you're trying to get like answers some of you some of you are looking too much into yourselves too much okay and you're not able to make a decision about what path to go just allow things to come to you right just allow the awakenings to come like i said here revelations will come to you what you need to know you'll have a better understanding you don't have to make any moves just yet when you meet somebody you'll just allow things to unfold naturally in your life okay but you definitely you definitely have a lover that's coming in here who is in alignment with you you two just have not you know i just feel like one's on one set of tracks and you're on another set of tracks and you're both traveling down the same tracks but you haven't met met yet but when you meet it's going to be like boom you're going to find out like you've been both traveling down the same exact road and didn't even know each other it's just divine timing all right let's see what your other messages are here i have this um I'm just trying to kick this deck up and get it sold. And I sold I sold um, one today on my Etsy channel. And then for some reason, the order process didn't go through. So I'm going to refigure all of that. Um, but anyway, this is my deck. This is my Moon Pie Tarot deck here. I just created this deck. So it's just basically, it's a 78 card tarot deck. Okay, but it's it's the tarot written out in all the text. So, endure and be patient. This is the first thing that's coming out here for you. Okay? Endure, stay strong, but be patient. Don't force things. Get into a safe place first. I just heard. Okay. Popular social female. Okay? So you could be meaning a popular social female or you are one this time transition the end of suffering is upon you here you go virgo out with the old in with the new no one said it would be easy or has been this season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new hemisphere allow it to happen and go with the flow it's now time for change okay a lustful fiery spirit very good virgo very good and secure your home remember i said that some of you need to lock your doors change your locks change your phone number um i don't know keep the alligators out of the toilet secure your home keep the snakes at bay it doesn't predict that somebody's going to break into your home but you need to make a safe space for yourself that's what i feel your message is here I'm going to do a couple more and then we're going to go do the charms. Okay. New plans are evolving. Beautiful. This feels like this person you're going to meet, whether it's a lover or a counselor or a therapist or a friend. There's, there's going to be plans being made, maybe for a date, coffee, get together, have dinner um, when after you guys meet. Those plans are gonna everything that I was saying before, remember, like traveling or or you're making new plans, things begin to evolve. Just like I said before, allow things to just evolve naturally. All right, justice is served. Wow. So this says, remember that thing you were sweating over? Yeah, well, that's ending. You're in a good place now because the verdict is delivered in favor of you. The truth prevails. So some of you have a court thing going on. Are you taking somebody to court or some kind of issue? You win. You'll win this one. 
One more. They just said one more. <laughs> Hitting rock bottom. Okay, this is what's needed. Hitting rock bottom, because then the only way to go left is up. So hitting rock bottom means like everything coming crashing down. That's what this is. Okay, hitting rock bottom. What was before needs to come down, needs to be destroyed so that we can rebuild again. Um, and for some of you, the Ten of Swords is hitting rock bottom. Okay, that betrayal, that last stint or somebody was stunting with you or doing whatever they were doing that's it for you you're done now it's you t it's now it's go time it's your turn some of you really got your moxie back you're really going after your you know what you some of you are um you're running on blind faith I, I know that you know that you can't go back to that but you don't know what's ahead and you're just trying to be hopeful some of you are hoping your past person will change. And I feel like you need to take the hope out of that. And you need to put the hope into your future. And into God. Source, higher power, spirit. Because that's where you need to be. Because if you're hoping that this person is going to change, well, you can wish in one hand, shit in the other, and see which comes out first. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. That's not your problem. Your problem is for you to get into a safe place. Exhale this energy and inhale good new loving energy um all right no idea where i put my charms but here they are oh well they just gave me they're giving you a hanger hang it up hang it up virgo no more hang-ups hang it up put this person on the hanger and lock them in the closet put them away for, an, for another time. Right now you got shit to do. So hang it up. Hell, you can even put them. You can get one of those nice fabric coated hangers with jewels and make it real pretty for them so that they can have something to look at while you're gone. <laughs> and shut that door. <laughs> some of you might work in a little boutique or maybe you bought some really pretty hangers. I, it's funny i bought hangers the other day but i didn't get these kind i got the i got the good see i'm a functional person right i'm all about function when i was younger i used to be more so about like i still have a little bit of the daintiness and the femininity absolute look at my nails i mean i like to have that stuff but like when it comes to function in my home and stuff everything's just got to be functional it's got to be functional and usable and I just lost one in my hair. Oh, we have a, a turtle again. Turtle is back. Maybe a, maybe a turtle is connected to you in some way. Or maybe there's a nickname, Turtle. Somebody calls somebody Turtle. Or you, you have a little turtle. Or you're trying to get your turtle into a safe place. This also feels like, you know, get your turtle shell on right now. For some of you. Get your turtle shell on. You need protection. All right, let's say two more they've given me. Oh, you got a dog bone and you got blessed. Beautiful. Okay. So right now, <laughs> some of you might maybe you gave your dog a bone. Or you're giving your dog a bone or he, the poor thing needs one. Go get him a bone. He's lost his bone. He's buried in his yard. Um, all right, and there, there, there may be a boner here <laughs> with a new connection with somebody. Not going to lie. I'm not going to be too, too candid, but yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that um, a couple of ladies in my chat here have already posted that as soon as they saw the bone. Um, <laughs> or maybe Alex or Derek may have said something because it's a a level of immaturity here in Kelly's readings, but you know, it's all good. You do what we gotta do. Um I'm not getting anything else from this bone. I I just I just heard a ham, ham bone. So I don't know what that means. And then you've got blessed. So this is really just a strong message here that you are safe, you are blessed, you are protected 
from um, higher power, God, source, spirit is protecting you, protecting your angels, guides. Absolutely, you're blessed. All right, one more before we hit the big six zero here. I'm going to switch out my charms too. Okay. All right. So now we've got a plane. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. Some of you are just like taking a plane. You're flying home, going home. Or you're traveling. I told you this travel. You might be meeting this person. They come in on a plane, plane trains and automobiles. Maybe it's a pilot. Maybe you you work on an airline. You might meet them. Remember I was saying rows of chairs? You might meet them on a plane and then bump, them, bump into them later in the airport or something, maybe like a bar or something, you know? Um, all right, I'm gonna leave your messages there. If you guys, if anything resonates with any of these charms and you feel like you wanna um, leave a comment and say what that charm meant for you or how it might stimulate you in some way or resonate for you in some way, then um, definitely please leave me a comment what, what might come to you about it. Um, yeah, so that's it. So you guys, make sure you join me on Fridays for my mini readings, $20. You just pop in the super chat, ask your question, pay your 20, and I'll pull a card for you. Um, or you can book with me a one hour phone call reading or a three hour, I'm sorry, two hour, one hour, two hour, or 30 minutes, whichever you like. Um, stay tuned for the uh, membership VIP I'm going to be offering on my channel here soon once I get it all together. I probably, it looks like it might be um, maybe around Halloween I might start doing that. So I'm just going to keep plugging it. Um, I'm not going to offer it to you yet because then you're going to be paying for the month and I won't have started anything yet. So I'm just going to keep plugging it and let you know. Just keep your eyes up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell um, in case I ever upload a video out of time. In other words, I'm here every night, 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, and I upload. You never know. I might surprise you with a twin flame reading or a soulmate reading or um, a little special reading out of the blue, and I might upload that, upload that every day. So you might want to make sure that you stay notified because you want to catch that right away. All right, you guys. Love you very much. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.